Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, which means it's, well, the day before reset. It's time for our weekly roundup. See what's been going on. And also, we got a surprise update on what is coming in the premium shop tomorrow. I guess I should say a preview. A very small preview, I heard. But I'm excited to take a look at it. If you guys do enjoy this video at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go take a look at today's news. Alrighty, so they said take this, uh, looks like a frying pan with an egg in it. It's a cooking emoji. It says take this, you'll need it for an iconic dress arriving in the premium shop tomorrow. So they actually released a survey yesterday explaining, pretty much asking, do we like them giving us like previews at the premium shop? I answered yes, of course, and they have done this today. So I think this is something they want to do, maybe to build some hype for the premium shop. I think it's really cool, and it's really fun to guess what this is going to be. So from what it looks like, is it's going to be Rapunzel, right? Like she has the whole frying pan thing. The emoji is cooking, but I think that's just the default one, like the best one that they could get for it. And I've heard of rumors of leaks for the Rapunzel dress is actually coming to the game. So it does sound very exciting to me, and I think that's a good look. I personally think it's really cool. Like, the dresses, I never really used them, but she, Rapunzel is an icon. Like, having her dress in the valley for people to use, I know a lot of players are really going to enjoy that. Since it is like an actual Disney dress, I expect it to be pretty expensive rather than something made by Gameloft, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'm sure it's going to be a lot of Moonstones for sure. So we got a uh, saying here that actually posted what the dress uh, could look like. Maybe this was from the leaks. And I guess this is probably what's going to be coming in the shop tomorrow. To me, I probably won't ever use it. Will I buy it? Yes. And will we be sharing it off in tomorrow's reset stream? Yes, we will. So stay tuned for a video on that or a stream. But we'll be taking a look. Hopefully there's no clipping issues. They said they pretty much fixed a lot of that where like your knees were showing through. But yeah, W dress for sure. As far as other news that went on throughout the week, yesterday they did post this right here. It says your insights play a key role in ongoing development of Dreamlight Valley. We're seeking your input. So here's a little survey anyone can do. You just click on this. And I did the survey in a video. It's about 26 minutes long. If you guys want to watch it, see my opinions on what we should bring. It also gives you a look into the future of Dreamlight Valley and some characters that are going to be coming to the game. I'll leave that linked in the comment section below, but it's a pretty fun survey to take. It's not really, it's not that long either. And you can vote on some of the characters you would like to actually bring to the game. Now, if you missed it, they did share this the other day, just a couple days ago this week. They said, you did it by sharing your memories. We were able to recover our memory from the Memory Mania event. Look at that critter. Even better, we completed the code. So you can actually get four Inside Out 2 in-game bracelets for your character. And the code is IO220024. I know a lot of players had issues putting this code in, but it's like Inside Out 2 and then 2024. So that's an O, not a zero. That is a zero, not an O. So type that code in under the help section and you should be able to have access to these in your mailbox. And that's pretty much it for this week. So we did get some new items. We have a, you know, a look into tomorrow's shop and we got a survey. So it was a pretty good week. Now, uh, the last thing is a dream snap. I actually ended up finishing mine the last night. Make sure you guys do yours if you haven't already. Current challenge, I don't always show off my dream snap, but I'll go ahead and show it off this time. So it was a Dreamlight Art Gallery. It's a decor challenge. It says you are formally invited to the opening and creation of your very own Dreamlight Art Gallery. Now, my submission isn't exactly what you would think. It's not exactly a basic art like gallery, and I don't know how well it's going to do. We may end up breaking our streak. But I did a more unique show of things that I think look like art, but it's definitely different. So here is my submission. I may tweak it a little bit to get some more sparkles in here because I actually had sparkles and fireworks set up, but they just didn't, 
you know, they just didn't go in the spot I needed them and the Mickey Cloud would not cooperate and the Mickey Cloud is actually behind the rift over here. So I want to get the smaller one up here. So I may mess with it tonight, but this is kind of what I have now. I remember I was explaining in stream and reset stream earlier last week or this week. I wanted to get the Lance slash blade statues in my shot somehow. So I ended up putting them right here and here. And then of course you have to have the armor for Mulan and just a couple of art decor pieces right here. I finally found a way to utilize this path, this flooring, which I've never used before. We got some fountains, some sparkles. We got some statues, some more statues here, some more little statues. And then of course the artifact here in the front. So it's not super, super on theme with what you would think, you know, the generic art gallery would be but that's what i came up with so hopefully it gets some votes if not i had a really fun time designing it and of course i made my character uh, with the mega red dress and trying to make her as beautiful as possible so i think we'll do all right and at the end of the day i set out to achieve to actually have the statues in a dream step got them done if you're wondering how to get these statues it is from the memory mania event you have to collect 200 memory orbs to be able to unlock these it'll be in your challenges now, we are just gonna finish out the vote video, the video, with a little bit of voting. I did just a little bit on Reset Stream and I haven't done any since that I can remember. And it is Stitchable Fashion. So it's an outfit challenge based around, well, our buddy Stitch. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, you know what? They were like, they took this very literal. They were like, you want outfit? You want Stitch? There you go, there's my, <laughs> I love that. I love the creativity. I'm going to vote for it. I mean, they they did that. Okay, lighting is gorgeous on this. Outfit is cute. Uh, outfit, it's not really Stitch. It says celebrate everyone's favorite fluffy blue alien with a Stitch-inspired ensemble. But this one is selfie mode, and I can't really see what's going on. So we'll vote for that one. It was a gorgeous photo, too. Okay, we got the Stitch hat. I added that on uh, my character as well. Let's see. I think I like the way they framed up this shot better, actually. Yeah, let's go with that one. Oh, a stitch hat again. Okay, I think we all chose the stitch hat. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like such a small space, but I love the way they frame this up with the sparkles. And then they got these little plants here. Outfit looks good. The turtle is always kind of risky when you're doing an outfit challenge because it does cover up a lot of your outfit. This one. Oh, man. It's raining in the valley. I got to vote for that one on the right. Oh, these are both cute outfits. And look at Stitch. He's got the text bubble here, too. It looks like they just went out for some brunch. Uh, I do like this as well, though. This is pretty heavy in the front. Ah, uh, I I think I got to go with this one. It's more simple, but I don't know. I am I really enjoy it. Okay, this they're both like really dark. It looks like they're storming a little bit. Little Stitch. I, I can't like I always have to vote if stitches in the photo. I got to vote on that one Okay colors on this is incredible. This person decided to do it over here in the realm The colors on this one is gorgeous gotta vote for it. This one's simple. I think it's just inside his house Actually, the outfit looks pretty good Yeah, it's almost similar. It's like they have the same outfit here. I'm gonna vote for that one Mmm Selfie mode. It's just so hard to vote for it on the outfit challenge. I can't see the outfit. Let's go with that one. Ah, uh, I feel like they have a really good stitch outfit right here. I just can't see it. I remember when I was voting last time, like the most amount of selfie modes is on outfit challenges, which I don't understand. I'm still going to vote for this one. I can't really see much of this one in it's the dress. I can see this one does look more stitch. So I will vote for that one. Another selfie one. Okay, so I do remember doing a, some voting on a video earlier this week. Because like every time there's two photos, one of them is almost always selfie mode. See? It's like, what the heck? That is crazy. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I think this is a community members. I remember seeing this in Discord. This is gorgeous, and it's the perfect one to end the video with. Let's freaking go. I remember seeing the, who was this? Oh, I think it was Mindy Mouse's submission, but I could be wrong. I believe it is though. 
and i really love this one the outfit all the little popcorn buckets and everything is just gorgeous but amazing submission definitely gonna drop a vote on it and that is it for the video i hope you guys have the best day ever i'll see you in the next one